Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Khan How Do I? Today we'll be teaching you how to make some nice, delicious donuts. So, in case you're at home, not knowing how to make donuts but you feel for them, of course you can't go and get them during this period of quarantine, so we will share with you a simple and easy method of how to make some delicious donuts. Well, before you continue with this video, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. I thought it was an oh, <laughs> <it's> awful. <laughs> so the ingredients necessary for this recipe are one and a half teaspoons of yeast, one teaspoon of salt, two and a half cups of flour, and half cup of sugar, two tablespoons and two teaspoons of melted butter, along with an egg, and three quarter cups of milk. So first, we're going to combine the milk with the yeast. And then we'll stir it gently and leave it for a little while. Now, we will mix the egg and butter. And pour it into our container for combining ingredients. Next, we will add the milk and yeast mixture to the butter and egg mixture. Give it a little stir. And you can add a bit of vanilla for flavoring. Not quite a bit, but it's exactly what we need. So after you're done adding, we'll add all the dry ingredients, sugar and the flour, We'll add only half of this mixture now and stir for convenience. Now we add the other half. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to take a clean container which you've added some oil to and then you will drop your mixture in that container. So let's do it.
afterwards, you'll cover and leave it there for an hour. See you in the next hour. So the dough has risen sufficiently. After one hour, it didn't look like it made any drastic change. So we waited for two hours for our dough to sufficiently rise. And this is the end product. What you'll do now, you'll thump the dough lightly to get rid of the extra air that's within it. After you're done doing that, whatever surface you'll be using to knead the dough, you'll sprinkle a bit of flour to prevent the dough from sticking onto that surface. So we'll be using this cutting board. Now we'll take some dough and drop there. Then you take your rolling pin. <laughs> Unfortunately, we just have a cup, it's no problem. You're going to roll the dough out. Let me add some flour to the surface. All right. Some more to add some more flour for rolling. It's a bit too much flour. Anyway, when you're rolling the dough, you don't want it to be more than half inch thick, so don't stretch it so thin. Don't stretch it too thin and then you're going to make some cuts. Usually we'd use a donut cutter which has an, a bigger outer hole and a smaller inner hole, but we'll be using a cup and a cork. Work with whatever you have. Whatever surface you'll be putting these cutouts on must also be lightly floured to prevent any sticking. Okay? If you'd like, you can also fry the small parts, the small inner circles, it's no problem. I also do that. But right now I'm going to combine it with some more dough.
So to make glaze for your donuts, we'll be making the traditional pink glaze. What you'll need is one and a half cups of powdered sugar, two to three tablespoons of milk, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, and then you will combine everything together. This will be the end product. So after you made the glaze, we go to the donuts with it and drizzle some colorful sprinkles on top. This is a final product. So guys, at the end of this video, we have made the donuts, glazed the donuts, and added sprinkles to them. So now it's time to take a bite to see how it tastes. Absolutely delicious. Yes, it is perfect. So we hope you liked this video and enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Until next time, bye! bye.